We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Friday. If you didn't see last week's, it was Aunt Beru and I, I, uh, I put forth the guess to uh, see if you'd pick this week's. It was, it's going to be pretty exciting. It is Uncle Owen. Um, yeah, a figure that has probably not stood the test of time. <laughs> it definitely hasn't. Owen's also a character that hasn't come out singularly on a card before. He's never come out on his own card back. Not as old Owen anyway. Um, so yeah, this one, he came in a few packs. There was a cinema scene, the sale of the droids. I don't even know if he came with an accessory or a weapon. But he's sort of just standing there, hand on hip, pointing, what about that one? I suppose you're programmed for etiquette and protocol. Now what do you say? Do you speak Bachi? Well, there's a bit of purple staining on the arm there. I never noticed that. But, um, yeah, it's been the only other two Owen figures I can think of. One came with this Darth Maul here in the Infinities comic. And that was a slightly different, slightly more updated version of older Owen. But a little bit more... Next to comic book inspired. And the other one is this Attack of the Clones. Sort of Joel Edgerton, Owen, young Owen. And uh, yeah, he's still got the rubber band around around him from when I picked this figure up. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, I think this one came on a single card because Baru White Sun is still a really difficult figure to try and track down. Um, so I've sort of hung on to this one in the hopes that one day... One day they'll get there. I'm kind of hoping even, you know, a couple of versions of Owen from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know, slightly older Joel Edgerton, sort of in between Joel and Phil Brown here. Um, that'd be cool. I'd even take that. But yeah, I think old Uncle Owen, Aunt Baru, you know, there, there's a good two-pack for a fan channel. Um, you know, Dan has, doesn't have to go out to mass retail. You just go to people that are going to buy it. But yeah, he's uh, he's in dire need of an upgrade. Even this one, it's it doesn't really look like him much at all. Maybe a little, <laughs> but it's literally just because of his outfit, what he's wearing, that we know it's Owen, and the packaging said so. Yeah, the paint on the hair has a lot to be desired. This looks like a flock of seagulls have flown over and dropped their lunch on him. Or yesterday's lunch. But yeah, I don't know what the uh, the fist in the air thing, that's probably not a great look. No, it's meant to just be him with his sort of hand on his hip like that. Just sort of purchasing the droids. Yeah, Uncle Owen, definitely one to be desired. I don't know, what do you guys think? What would you prefer from... From a current version of Owen and Baru, I think yeah, definitely some updates for these two versions. The one, this one, and the uh, the the Baru I showed you last week from the Power of the Force. Definitely overdue for an upgrade. I don't think it's going to be high on the priority list. Maybe in a couple of years when we get around to a New Hope fiftieth anniversary, they might try and fill some gaps in the in the collection there. But until then, I don't think too high on the agenda. Again, like like I said, I wouldn't mind some figures to go with the uh, with the Obi Wan series. You know, I've got the Jabim Obi Wan here, and I'm pretty sure the uh, the Jedi Legend, the the Hello There Obi Wan from the very end of the series. I believe I think that's been pipelined. I could be wrong. Um, I feel like it's been pipelined. There's been so many of those. Um, sort of fan polls, there's March Madness going on at the moment, and there was the last figure standing. It's sort of hard to know, <laughs> it's hard to keep track of what's actually in the pipeline, and you know, what is just things that fans are clamouring for. 
and their little fan poles and stuff, which are fun to uh, fun to get around. But yeah, this uh, episode two anic uh, Owen's actually not too bad, not too bad a figure at all. Not a lot of action, but fills the scene a little bit. I don't have any of the others. I don't have Padme in the blue from the farm. Obviously, I don't have Baru from episode two. Uh, I've got Anakin. I think it sort of fits in there a little bit. And the, the rusty 3PO, but that's about it. Um, so, yeah, nice, nice quick episode of Power of the Force Friday this week. Also, just to get your thoughts. You know, I'd love to hear what you think about Owen and Baru. Are they important enough to deserve... New, new, updated, vintage collection style action figures. You guys, long term collectors and uh, you know scene fillers. Like I think yes. You know we've had, we've had Biggs Darklighter from deleted scenes. We've had Kami and Fixer from deleted scenes have far better figures than these. And these are these are two quite important characters from A New Hope. You know, Luke's future definitely. Uh, is dependent on on these two characters, Owen and Baru. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send it down below. We're sort of heading into April. We're going to get through a few more figures in April. And then in May, I'm going to do a bit of a Phantom Menace feature for the month of May. Uh, just giving us the 25th anniversary. We're going to take a look at a slew of action figures each week. So that should be quite fun. I'm looking forward to, you know, really focusing on some of those 1999 Phantom Menace action figures. Maybe even some from Power of the Jedi. We'll see. Um, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate your time. We'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you always.